Today um, is remembering the 50th anniversary of Operation Overlord and the Battle of Long Car, which was fought in the Vietnam War. It's a really important um, date in the calendar for our Vietnam veterans. Um, obviously, the battle occurred in, in 1971, and uh, it's you know the country is remembering and just talking to the veterans here today, the great respect that they feel and uh, they feel honoured. It's it's very important to us. I've came from uh, Brisbane, a very long way, and uh, also where it's really great to catch up with the guys. Unbelievable, you know, we're all older, and uh, it's just still the same humour, still the same, you know, how are you, mate? And it's still the same looking after one another, even uh, there, you know, just making sure you're all right. By having these events, we truly honour those that have served and who have given up their lives or have suffered and worked hard you know, for our country, particularly in overseas battles. You know, obviously, Operation Overlord was a major battle in Vietnam. Events like today are wonderful for me to witness the bridging of ADF personnel with ex-serving personnel. The Catafight Party, the Federation Guard members, current serving personnel honouring those ex-serving personnel and bringing forward a distinguished history and making sure that that's in the eyes of our current serving personnel. When the public get to see these events, get to see how much effort's put in and the passion that goes into them and the mateship that you see between the veterans, you know, that, that, uh, that are walking around us every, everywhere at the moment. It's so good to see. We've got a couple of guys that, you know, a little bit sick, or, I mean, you know, older, and uh, it's just the way it is, just like uh, when, you, when we were there, always made sure, look after one another. Uh, that is the way it is, you know, that's, the, that's what the comradeship is all about. The camaraderie, it's, uh, uh, you know, I've met guys today and, and yesterday that I haven't seen for many years, but we just, we don't forget. And look, I have spoken to several veterans today, but also I caught up with a group last night. And today is special to them because they have the opportunity to reflect, remember uh, the loss, the sacrifice of those that passed, not only on for this battle, on this day that we're commemorating, but for all those lost in Vietnam. Well, you know, particularly uh, for those of us that lost mates, I think it's great that not only veterans, but the public and everyone uh, come out and remember the sacrifice that those guys made. And whilst they may not have necessarily been all pleasant days, they were unique. And uh, you, you then sort of have a repository of memories and comrades that other people don't have. I think that's probably part of the essence of it. To remember it sometimes very vividly as a, some bravery, very unbelievable. The blokes that you never, you know, never thought would pretty humble followers, uh, you know, they, they were there in the heat of the battle and it was a, a, a big battle and uh, it was very, very um, uh, intense and uh, unfortunately, uh, Bloke, a couple of a few blokes, four of us were, four of the boys were killed and several wounded. And sometimes, a couple of times, I saw a couple of lads get wounded. And it's very frightening when you look over and you see your mate, you know, holy mackerel. As I get older, uh, what, I, what I remember most were my soldiers. I think that's the main thing. And that's what this is about. Um, it was a very unpopular war, and uh, there was lots of protests and things like that. But us blokes, you know, we we went we went to do our job. We were young, 19 years old, and uh, well, we went off to war pretty proudly. Uh, with the fact that we were representing Australia. And uh, we've just 
young, proud fellows, and we were amazed at uh, the protests that went on about the war. And for the Vietnam veterans who came back and they weren't celebrated the way that other veterans were, to be able to be at an event like this and, and to show you know, what that actually means to them, you know, I, I'm so proud to be here. You know, the, the country for a little while didn't necessarily uh, show its love to the Vietnam veterans, but for me to uh, be in a position where I can honour and, and respect them and help carry their legacy uh, forward for generations to come. And it's always a privilege. Um, as I said before, I, uh, I know a lot of these uh, old gentlemen and, uh, you know, it, it brings a smile to my face. And it's, it's really, for them, it's a great opportunity just to remember the sacrifice, the loss, but to gather with mates. And uh, you know, it's a privilege for me to be able to help with that. Um, it was lovely to see all the families here today, to know that their loved ones remem were remembered and to know that their service and sacrifice was honoured as well. And we saw a number of wreaths be laid by family members on behalf of serving members who are no longer here. And it was a good reminder that um, that pain, that suffering, that sacrifice lives on. Um, but that, you know, duty and honour to them, to take care of them as they age and grow old with us um, lives on as well. Uh, they raised me as a young soldier. They, they taught me and passed on their skills and knowledge and the professionalism that, that they upheld uh, in honouring that spirit of the Anzacs. And uh, I, I take great pleasure in reminding them that uh, I'm here because of them and it's their fault. Um, that Vietnam veteran population taught us, they raised us, they're, um, you know, our parents and grandparents, they're the ones who um, taught us about duty and honour and respect and, and what it meant to serve and what it also meant to um, figure out how to be proud of something that you did even though your country may not have been behind you at the time or afterward and how to make something of your life, how to um, you know, continue to be there for your friends and yet live a full life you know, as a citizen, as a, as a person who's committed to our nation, our globe, um, in a productive way. I'm the son of a Vietnam veteran. Many of the faces I see here today were friends of my father. I'm so glad to see them honour their service. It's an honour to be here on behalf of those families. You know, my father served in Vietnam, my husband was in 3RAR, my son is now a corporal in 3RAR. Um, there's this proud military tradition and all of that um, has been something that means a lot to me and is something I, I know firsthand that we need to serve and support our families and our veterans now and long into the future. I'd like to say thank you to the service of the Vietnam veterans and all our veterans, including our men and women that are serving today. You know, what they do, and the training they go through, the hard work they put in, I'm lucky enough in this job to see every day you know, what, they, what they do. And it's quite a, a sacrifice that they put in. And their service is, is quite incredible. Uh, look, I, I'm proud that I, I serve my country, but you know, uh... Yeah, it's, it's just, just another job, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm very proud that I, I, I served, yeah. Uh, I was proud to be part of the, uh, to be part of looking after the other fellows and uh, very proud to represent Australia. A lot of the fellows will have this in their heart. It'll be one of the most memorable things that we'll remember forever, that the Australian public well, uh, you know, have come to support us and given us what we probably should have got when we came back, uh, recognition. Uh, and uh, that was it. So I'm very proud to be here. Well, I think the recognition is the, is the important thing. And I also think it's part of the healing and the, uh, the closing of you know, doors that you didn't want open in the first place. So it's very important. It's part of, part of the whole satisfaction of something being completed and not hanging around over people's minds as, as these, these events can do. That's the other reason why it's important. 
And so there's a little bit of an extra, extra feeling about today in the sense that there's a, a little bit more closure for Vietnam veterans.